What's up? Thank you for coming to Embracing Mattress. My name is Renee. I'll be giving you a reading for January 15th through January 31st for the sign of Libra. Okay? Now, as I was shuffling and meditating over these cards, like, listen, these all flew out. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to find out. You guys got a whole bunch of cards. Let me just see if I can lower this so you can see here. Okay? It's a lot going on with you Libras right now. All right? Try to keep it here. That'll help. Um, but anyway, so when it comes to these cards, you have, oh, take what resonates, whatever does not, just leave it. Okay? Birth chart is in my about page. Thank you so much again for coming. Um, and I uh, send you all love and light and blessings. Now let's get to it. Now you guys have Sarah's body the arts express yourself through creative activities now you may be doing something creative in your life right now spirit spirit is uh, spirit is saying that this is a good thing for you okay spirit is supporting this um you can't see the card let me bring it to you um spirit is definitely supporting this all okay um, they want you to be successful with the things that you're doing, whether it's the music, whether you're writing, whether you're doing, you know, something to stimulate your mind. Uh, Spirit is here saying, you know, that's a great thing. Um, even if you have to take a class for something that you don't know yet, Spirit is here saying that this is good. Invest in an artistic hobby they're saying keep a journal of your creative ideas join a writing club or create or creative supportive system like find some like-minded people that are into the things that you're into and bond with them okay you have a three of air card right when it comes to the three of air card look at her she has a bird resting on her on her wing it's beautiful i never noticed that before anyway when it comes to the three of air card <laughs> spirit is saying to you that you are in some sort of stalemate right now some you're in your feelings about something. You're trying to figure out if you what you want to do. You're uncertain. You're considering your options, right? Spirit is saying it's time to take a break to consider your options about whatever it is you're thinking about. There's no need to rush forward. The perfect answer for the highest good will come to you if you take the time and remain in a peaceful state of mind. You may be trying to figure out what to do um, regarding your relationship. This is what I'm feeling. Or a job. But I really do feel this is relationship wise. We have a nine of fire card. Caution, uncertainty, reevaluating circumstances. I need to stop, wait, and look around me before proceeding any further. My sense of uncertainty is my inner wisdom telling me to bring illumination to my situation. Okay? To allow insights to arise and guide me before I take my next step. Questioning is good. Ask questions. Okay, I will look carefully to see if a different path may be right for me at this point. Take it how it resonates, people. You have Yaman Yamania, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now walk through them now I'm not sure what's happening in your life libra but some things are happening that spirit is saying hey you need to stay focused and you can't let whatever this is over here throw you off your path because you got shit to do okay all right like the ocean Life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything. So when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at that very moment. At that moment, okay? Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet, if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come 
along just as the tides wash in and out continuously. Like the ocean, life is rich with variety and beauty. Enjoy experiencing its various rhythms and allow all doubts to be washed away. So if you're in your feelings about something and you're thinking about it, Spirit is saying, if this is a, if this is a job, there's other jobs. If this is a relationship, there's other relationships. You know, don't limit yourself by thinking that you have to be in this moment right here. There's other things that will come to you if you allow and regarding this, you have Suli's bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, ocean, or to recharge your batteries because you're drained about whatever it is you're in your feelings about. You know, take a spiritual bath, okay? Go to the beach, sit there, listen to the waves. You know, do what it is that you need to do. Hell, stand in the shower. Let the water run on your head, you know? Just to clear your mind, you know, because... Spirit is saying that you have been in your feelings regarding this and you're draining your energy. You know, you may not be sleeping well, you know, you may may be in your feelings, you may be, may be aggravated and don't know why, you know, just be aggravated in your spirit. You know what I mean? Water has this power of, of, of helping us somehow, it just washes everything away, you know? Just imagine as you're getting out of the tub or something that everything that you're going through, all the stress and strife, it's just going down the damn drain, okay? You might need to drink more water as well, all right? Got two cards here dealing with water and opportunity and stuff. Yeah, you want to make sure that you have a lot. You stay hydrated, detox your body, something of that nature. Just make sure you're, you're doing what you need to do for yourself. Now, you have a high priestess card. That means you are definitely, your intuition is popping right now, okay? Your intuition is trying to guide you, Libras, you know? It, it's definitely trying to get you to see things from a different perspective, all right? This is my mystery card. Some things are, are not meant to be known intellectually, but are meant to be experienced through intuition. This card reminds me to trust that I have access to higher wisdom and knowing when I tune in and trust my vibes. This is the time when mysteries will be revealed and I can grow as a result. Meaning, your intuition is speaking to you right now. Okay? You may not be listening to it, or maybe you are. And maybe that's why you're aggravated. And maybe that's why you're drained. Okay? But whatever it is that's chiming, chiming, chiming away in that brain of yours, in that in that intuition of yours, they're telling you, pay attention, okay? You have a queen of earth card. Practical and grounded, trustworthy, earthy, resourceful, okay? I'm committed down to earth and clear about my goals. I am honest as I work with others to keep it real and be true to what we are doing and the challenges before us, I use all my resources wisely, whether they are finances, opportunities, or people willing to help me in my endeavors. Stay grounded. Whatever your intuition intuition is telling, I can't even talk today, I'm sorry guys. Whatever your intuition is telling you, you're being called to stay grounded because you are being true to yourself. You are being committed to, to a situation. You know, you're being real. You're being honest. You're doing what you need to do. Spirit is saying. You have a two of fire card here. Right? Creative planning for the future. Mapping progress. Trusting in the unknown. Spirit in inspired ambition. Whenever I can't see how my dreams will come into form. I can trust in the process of co-creation and engage more deeply in the process of envisioning something new. I have already started to make progress and soon my passion will attract the perfect situation for me. The light of spirit helps me to see my way and feel the universe aligning to bring me what I need. Trust in the unknown, trust in your intuition. Intuition is not something we see, people. It's something that we feel. And whenever our intuition speaks to us, we need to be in that moment in paying attention to what it is that the universe is trying to give us or tell us or show us, okay? 
Seven of fire. I'm unstoppable. My passion pushes obstacles aside as I engage in sustained effort. I know, I know how to bend, but I don't compromise on what's most important to me. If others aren't happy with the course I am on, I don't have to let their concerns affect me. I release the temptation to resist challenges, and I trust that I can make things happen as I live my own life on my own terms. Inspired solutions present themselves. Don't back down. If somebody ain't rocking with you, if somebody's not giving you what you need, fuck them. Okay? Personal best. Going the distance. Perseverance. Non-conformity. Don't conform to someone else because you are your own person. You know what you like. You know what you do. You know you're doing the best that you can. And you know that you're doing in in a resourceful, respectful, honest way. All right? And don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Yeah, that came from me. You have an Ace of Fire card. Right? When I feel my connection to spirit, I see unlimited potential for transformation. There's no reason to fear because I'm fully supported in imagining something new and daring to, to make it happen. This is a time to dream big. I can be bold and free because spirit inspires me to turn my dreams into reality. Okay? Spirit is saying whatever it is that you feel like you want to do, go for it. You know? Not sure if this is a relationship, a business, a creative endeavor, whatever, a uh, new job, what have you. Um, but Spirit is saying, go forth. All right? Spirit is saying, get it done. Absolutely. Don't be afraid either. All right? Don't do it. You have a King of Water card. I honor and respect all things, including myself. And see the commodities, excuse me, and see the commonalities we share and the spirit and the spirit that is in all of us. I listen to other voices and blend them with my own wisdom before settling on an opinion, making a decision or taking an action. Okay, so this is saying that you, again, go within, listen to what your intuition is telling you. Okay, think about it, sit with it, see how your spirit is feeling about it. Before you make a decision, okay? Right? Libra is my listener, my peacemaker, my 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 meditator, my mediator, okay? Libras are very gentle, very, very kind, very quiet, very, very, yeah, they just like harmony, okay? And if you're feeling in, in a way right now where you just don't have that harmony in your life, you're, you're being called to, to act on it now, okay? All right, you have a four of earth card. Even if I feel shaken up and I'm unable to understand why things happen as they do, I know for certain that divine order manifests in all aspects of my life. What I have built rests on a solid foundation, so there's no need to fear. While it is true, that nothing is permanent in the material world. I find security in the existence of a divine plan. Spirit is always there to remind me that I am exactly where I am meant to be for my highest good and the highest good of all. And that I always have abundance available to me. Spirit is saying that you're here, you're blessed, you're protected. If this is a creative endeavor that you want to do, go forth and do it. If this is a relationship that you are trying to think about, if you want, if you don't want, okay, use your discernment and make a decision, okay? You also have the hermit card, and this is probably why you're thinking about all these things at one time. Hermit, time out. This is my sit down and shut up card. I'm going to sit my ass over here in this corner, and I'm just going to observe, and I might close my eyes because I may not see what the hell you want to do. <laughs> okay Libras <laughs> sometimes it's necessary to take a time out for regrouping and introspect introspection this is a temporary experience but one necessary for for your growth okay step back retreat regroup renew okay clear your perspective okay on what's happening in your life so that you can use your discernment and your intuition to come to a decision about it all right 
Let's pull your spirit message for the overall message. <sighs> Tie this all together. Let me lift this up a little bit since you've seen these cards. Okay, we can't have all those spirit. That's way too many. Let's try this again. Messages for Libra, please, Spirit. Okay, there's one. Okay, there we go. All right. When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas come naturally so support will surround me and movements will form my super attractive power comes from how i feel my faith in love and the joy i put out i choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe absolutely you got two super attractive cards oh you powerful ain't you libra shit my ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. So in other words, when you start thinking something bad, think something positive. Remove it. Let's pull your soulmate card. Whatever's going on, you have the power to change your, mind, your mindset, change your thought. You know, you want to exercise that at this time. Spirit is saying... Okay. Very powerful with this reading, Libra. Okay, come on, cards. Give me what you got for Libra Spirit. Thank you. Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it that you can. Create, create, create. Absolutely. And everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So stop being afraid and move forward. Okay, Libra. Love you guys. See you at the end of the month. Like, share, and subscribe.